On the 6th of May, 2015, the Islamic Advisory Group for Polio Eradication held its second meeting at the globally renowned Al-Azhar Islamic University in Cairo. The meeting's agenda revolved around reviewing progress and challenges in implementing the group's action plan for 2014 that aimed mainly to help Pakistan and Somalia, two of the few Muslim countries still affected by polio, wipe out the dreadful disease once and for all. The group, also known as the IAG, started its meeting by listening to statements from leading representatives of its founding institutions. ويأتي هذا الاجتماع الثاني للفريق الاستشاري الإسلامي في منعطف هام في معركتنا ضد شلل الأطفال فجدول أعمال الاجتماع يهدف إلى اعتماد استراتيجية وخطة عمل تتضمن عددا من الأنشطة والالتزامات الواعدة وذات الفعالية العالية وسوف يقود المساعي الجماعية ويوجهها لفيف من العلماء البارزين والأساتذة الذي الذين يضمهم الفريق الاستشاري Polio eradication continues to be a critical challenge for the OIC. The three remaining polio endemic countries are OIC member states. Additionally, several countries reporting importation of polio virus and those with remaining polio cases remain to be OIC member states. In the Fariq al-Istishari al-Islami, la yaqifu jami'a munazzamati wa a'adai fi saffin wahid khalf al-juhut al-mahalliya wal alamiya المبذولة للقضاء على شلل الأطفال تحقيقا لمقاصد الشريعة الإسلامية وتنفيذا للتوجيهات الربانية والأوامر الإلهية بإحياء النفوس وإنقاذها من الهلاك والضرر والبنك على أتم استعداد للتنسيق مع كل المعنيين لمواصلة دعمه لتعزيز التوعية المجتمعية من خلال تدخل العلماء في المجتمعات المتأثرة نأمل أن يشكل هذا الاجتماع سانحة طيبة لتبادل الرؤى حول تجويد الأداء بما يصف في مصلحة المجتمع من أجل القضاء على شلل الأطفال في العالم أجمع بحول الله وقوته وفضل تضافر الجهد الحكومي والجهات المعنية الأخرى متى, متى سيجتمع علماء العالم للاحتفال بإعلان العالم عالم خالي من مرض شلل الأطفال؟ كذلك التحديات التي تواجه شلل الأطفال في البلدان الإسلامية وسبل دعم المجهودات الوطنية المبذولة على القضاء للقضاء على المرض. The speakers mainly renewed the pledge to sustain the fight against the devastating disease and counter any misguided opposition to its imperative eradication. Before holding their working session, members of the IAG were given audience by the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmed al Taib, at his office, where he reiterated his institution's commitment to dedicate human and other resources to the group's honorable quest. He told them Islamic professors and scholars from Al-Azhar are ready to contribute, and the university will prepare and mobilize students from endemic countries to join this benevolent mission. I am happy to be here with this beautiful meeting, the beautiful Islamic community. The group also met with the president of the International Islamic Fiqh Academy and Imam of Mecca's Haram Mosque, Dr. Salah Ben Khomeid, who, for his part, agreed to fully support the IAG in implementing this anti-polio action plan. 
Back to their meeting, members of the IAG were given a presentation on the group's achievements and challenges, as well as the current situation of polio eradication worldwide, and another one on the rapidly evolving and increasingly effective National Islamic Advisory Group in Pakistan. They were also briefed by representatives from Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Somalia on the state of affairs in these countries' campaigns to stamp out the polio virus in their remaining infected areas and communities. I'm confident that this conference will give a new fillip to our efforts to purge the Muslim world of a virus that paralyzes not only children, but families and societies. لكن هناك بعض المشاكل الأمنية في بعض المناطق مثل محافظة هلمان ففي بعض الأوقات لم يمكن لا يصل إلى بعض الأطفال التدعيم يمكن لا يصل في بعض الأوقات وأثناء التدعيم التدعيم لا يصل إليهم. We are glad that the country is polio free for the past eight months and this encourages us to double our efforts to ensure all Somali children have access and are taking up polio as well as other routine vaccinations. Finally, the meeting thoroughly examined a proposed action plan for the period through 2016 and eventually endorsed a version that provides for partnerships with key Islamic universities in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Gulf states. Their goals include the introduction of special training modules and curriculum, to engage students from affected countries in polio eradication in their localities and sending qualified faculty members to raise awareness and seek behavioral change. We agreed also that this plan have to have a timetable, a uh, costing a, a responsible uh, body or person, and a uh, executive uh, steps or uh, implementation steps so that we can ensure that whatever we didn't succeed last year, we will be uh, having a better opportunity this year to be implemented in the right time. The group also decided to boost advocacy by working with non-governmental organizations and charities active in afflicted countries and to leverage statements and Friday sermons from prominent Islamic leaders. It decided to approach relevant authorities in Gulf states and other Islamic donor countries for as much support and collaborations as possible. التعامل باختيار منظمات مجتمع مدني ومنظمات طوعية للعمل جنبا على جنب مع الجهات المنفذة في داخل الدولة حتى إننا نستفيد من كل ال 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 الجهات ذات القدرة في دفع جهود التوعية هذه. In addition, the group's plan called for enhancing the work of the National Islamic Advisory Group for Polio Eradication in Pakistan, particularly in spheres of advocacy and communications, and for organizing interactive visits for IAG members in priority areas. وأنا الحقيقة أقترح لي تفكير فيها بوقت كافي إنه تغيير مسمى الفريق من فريق استشار الإسلامي لاستشار الأطفال إلى الفريق استشار الإسلامي للصحة إسلامك هيلث أدفايزر جروب. In a closing statement, the group reconfirmed that vaccinating children against polio is not only compatible with Islamic Sharia and teachings but also considered a religious obligation as effective means to protect children's health and save their lives. It also reasserted its condemnation of all sorts of obstruction against health workers, particularly the atrocious violent attacks they have been coming under in Pakistan. The meeting closed with a landmark decision by the IAG for the future expansion of its scope into covering other public health issues of concern to the Muslim world rather than limiting itself merely to the still crucial fight against polio.